Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. The Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships is done and dusted. And Kingston College and Edwin Allen walk away with epic wins. So congratulations are in full effect for Kingston College and Edwin Allen. <laughs> This is now the 35th win for Kingston College, their fourth straight, but 35th overall, finishing on 335 points. Edwin Allen pretty much mirroring that score for their 10th overall win. Track is taking it back from Heidel that won the year before with 335.50 points. Now, Kingston College, I won't lie, steam rolled Jamaica College that was closest to them in second, and they ended on 278 points while Heidel coming in very close in the closing moments of championships ending in second place with 326 points so it was really down to the wire on the girls side but Edwin Allen came out with a fantastic win and Kingston College steamrolling everybody else walking away with another win under their belts as I did say 10th overall for Edwin Allen and 35th overall for Kingston College and we saw some epic performances some jaw-dropping clashes and some mouth-watering performances from this epic five-day meeting from a high school level, the greatest show on planet Earth. Now, in this video today, I'm going to give you my top 10 performances from the meet. Now, my ranking is simply based on the under 20 performances in the world and where these performances rank them, of course, in the world. Now, clearly, the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships is broken up into classes. But with that said, still want to look at the big picture and what these performances really mean from a global perspective. So, without further ado, let's kick things off with my number 10. In number 10, we had Marcinio Rose taken to the boys class 1 200 meter semi-final where he ran at 20.79 seconds to walk away with the win qualifying him to the finals where he did eventually walk away with third place. Now this time for Marcinio Rose ranks him fourth in the world. Now these world performances are from an outdoor perspective. Now kicking things off with number nine, Shanoya Douglas. Yes, she took to the girls class two 400 meter semifinal as well. And she banged out a 52.96 seconds to walk away with the win in her heat, qualifying her to the finals where she did go on to take the girls class two 400 meter final win. Now this time of 52. 0.96 seconds ranks Shanoya Douglas fourth in the world. In eighth place from the triple jump is Chavez Penn. Now he jumped a 15.92 meters in the boys class one triple jump and this jump allowed him to win the competition and not only that ranks him squarely third in the world based on this performance. Now in seventh place was the only class three athlete that made this list. So that tells you she's definitely one to look out for the future. And it's even more phenomenal because Javian Bernard does the high jump and she jumped a meeting record. Yes, a class three high jump record. She jumped 1.83 meters to walk away with the girls class three high jump win the previous record being 1.80 meters now this jump of 1.83 meters ranks javian bernard third in the world now in sixth place was marcinia rose in the boys class one 400 meters where he ran a time of 45.93 seconds he was the only athlete in the race to run sub 46 and this time ranks him 
third in the world. Now in fifth place, we have Tony Ann Beckford from the girls class one 400 meter hurdles. Now she ran a blazing time of 56.70 seconds. Now this time allowed her to walk away with the win in the women's 400 meter hurdles open and she is ranked second in the world based on this performance. Now in fourth place, we have the high flying Tiana Lee very long in class two for the girls 100 meters she ran an epic 11.22 seconds to walk away with the win in the girls 100 meters now this time ranks Tiana Lee Terry Long second in the world in third we had Abigail Campbell now she was in the girls class one 400 meters and she walked away with the win running 52.27 seconds now this run from Abigail Campbell ranks her squarely at number one in the world in the girls 400 meters now in second place was Daniel Wright now he took to the boys 400 meter hurdles where he ran 50.71 seconds to walk away with the win now this time ranks Daniel Wright in the world yes squarely also number one in the world and ding 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 we're getting on to my number one the number one performance from the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletic championships came from Shaquan Dunn in the boys discus throw. Now he took to the boys class one finals where he threw 65.48 meters narrowly missing the record. Now this throw ranks Shaquan Dunn first in the world. Now that is it for my top 10 performances from the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. Now it's your turn to sound off in the comment section below and tell me your top 10 performances. What are your top 10 performances from the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships? If you could switch a name out of my top 10, who would you take out and who would you add? As usual, sound off in the comment section below. Like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.